here we are, day 53 with Grandma's Math. We're going to read a little bit more of our book and about calendars. Wow, I didn't know how we had gotten our calendars. Well, that's not the end of the story. The Julian calendar came close to working, but it was 11 minutes off the sole year, and by 1582, long after the Roman Empire had ended, 11 minutes each year had added up to about 10 days. Easter, a spring festival, might be celebrated at the wrong season. To fix things, Pope Gregory VIII declared that October 5 would become October 15th. Ten days were gone forever. The Pope also changed Caesar's leap year rule. Every fourth year would still be a leap year, in years ending in double zero that could be evenly divided by 400 would be leap years too. But if they could not be evenly divided by 400, they would have the usual 365 days. As a result, the year 2000 is a leap year, but 1900 was not. The Gregorian calendar was adopted gradually all over the rest of the world. As time moves by, it will have to be corrected again by 4909. It will be a whole day off. The Pope's influence extended far and wide, but not into countries like Germany and England. These continued to use the Julian calendar, but 170 years later, England and its colonies finally started using the Gregorian calendar, and they were among the last to do it. By then, the date according to the English calendar was 11 days different from the rest of Europe, so the English dropped them out of the calendar. Wednesday, September 2nd, 1752, was followed by Thursday, September 14th. Some people thought the 11 days had been stolen from their lives. Employers refused to pay a full month's wages, landlords wanted a full month's rent, and mobs rioted in the streets. Give us back our 11 days, they cried. Uh, did they really lose those days? No, silly. They were only gone from the calendar. Said the M&M buddies. Rabbit's Pajama Party by Stuart J. Murphy. Illustrated by Frank Rumekowitz on sequencing. All the things you might need for a pajama party. Rabbit's out there looking at the window waiting for everybody. Rabbit's pajama party. My pajama party is about to begin. I run to the door and let my friends in. We gobble our dinner, pizza with cheese. And slurp down our fruit juice as much as we please. For dessert, we make Sundays hot fudge and whipped cream. With a cherry on top, an elephant's dream. Then mom says it's time to get ready for bed. So we pull on our PJs. Mine are bright red. And everyone's ready. Mom says, all right. Now into your sleeping bags. Zip them up tight. Elephant giggles, and I start to laugh.
Mom takes one last picture. Good night, says Giraffe. But the fun has just started. We don't want to rest. We tell scary stories, the kind we like best. There's a boo and a scream and a shh, then a roar. But after a while, all I hear is mouse snore. So what all happened at Rabbit's Pajama Party? What did they do first? What did they do second? What came third? Fourth? Fifth? Sixth? remember let his friends in eat dinner made Sundays put on PJs get into sleeping bags good night putting things in the right order is very important